Look who's in town. Oh, who? Bonus footage. Oh, we got a clutch of eggs. Hello. Hippity, hippity, hippity. Ha, ah, how you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I got a good video for you today, again. Two in a row, unbelievable, right? Yeah, but it's happening. I've got some stuff to unbox right here that I'm very excited about. I've got an announcement. I've got an announcement. I've got an announcement to make. And we're gonna do an update on Mr. Noah Sage's baby blood python that he's raising up. Per requests from the last video in the comments. If you have requests, comments down below. Leave one, please. Also, hit the like button real quick on this video so that we can just, I don't know appease my uh, need for self-gratifying things from other people. Uh, <clears throat> okay, before we unbox this, I am going to Arizona this week. Not only am I going to Arizona this week, Noah Sage is coming with me for a father-son trip, and we're meeting up with Dave Kaufman, Clint's Reptiles, Garrett Hartle, Reach Out Reptiles, at the CNB Reptile Shop in Phoenix for their grand opening. On Thursday, there's a party, which I'm going to be fashionably late to because that's when my flight gets in. And then there's going to be the grand opening on the following Saturday, the Saturday, the day after tomorrow when it's Thursday. Man, this is what it's like in the morning. But I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. I'm gonna put the address for the shop. If you're in the Phoenix area, just look up CNB Reptiles. They're opening and we're gonna have a big fat party shindig. It's gonna be awesome. I hope to see you guys there. Okay, I had this for a while now. I've had this for a couple days at this point, and I haven't opened it, which is crazy, because usually when I get something new, it doesn't make it up the stairs before it's open. But I just wanted to make sure I was really ready to get this going. This is kind of a big deal, and the reason I'm sharing it here is because I realized that the very first video I ever put up on this channel was about the new computer I got six years later. And most of you know, I think six years in computer life is ancient at this point. So it was a much needed upgrade and I'm hoping that lots of great things are gonna come from this. One other thing I'd like to mention about this is, well, they make it real easy to open, don't they? I did a lot of research before I decided on this machine right here. And after doing a bunch of research, I was able to save myself half of the cost of what I thought I was gonna have to get to get a new computer that's gonna do the job that I need it to do, i.e. live stream, like tomorrow on Triple B TV, no more technical issues because of no more problems with the computer. Let's just open this thing up. There's a lot more to do today besides the computer. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was important since it literally was the very first video I ever did on this channel was getting a new computer. And here we are, six years later, getting another new one. Oh, wow. That just kind of, I almost feel like we should have been really quiet, like SMR style for that. Oh, they, they make it so easy to unpack. You, you gotta give them that. It's like, you, you're a complete dunce if you can't easily, just, look at it, like this is, I actually try to do something like this when I'm shipping snakes. I leave a little piece of tape on the top of the styrofoam thing so that you can just grab it and pull it out. So yeah, I can appreciate that. I can certainly appreciate it. Let's peel off the plastic stuff. It's it's a new computer. What do you want me to do? This isn't a tech channel. M1, it's got the new processor instead of the Intel chip that they've been using previously. Upgraded to 16 gigabits of RAM. New computer, super excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, oh yeah. And of course, all, all the things to protect it and keep it nice for another, I'm hoping I don't have to replace this thing for at least five years like the last one. All right, bud, go get, go get your snake and bring her over. Slow movements, that's right. Here he goes, folks, here he goes. No, that's not the snake. <laughs> there you go, remember it, easy, gentle, carry over nice and slow. No big, fast movements. Whoa, that was a little fast, but hey. Come on over, come this side, table. Set it down easy. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go. You want to tell anybody about it? Some of us are a little more graceful in the mornings than others. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. Stop hitting yourself in the head. Okay. You want to just show what what have, what have you learned? That it's most likely a male. Um, I learned how to clean him. And... He has 
grown. Did you get uh, did you get a little bit the other day and get a little little worried? You start asking about wearing gloves. Yeah. But you got over that. You did a good job. You did a good job. You're doing good work, bud. Are you, are you, so you're you gonna handle it, right? Huh? You're gonna you're gonna pick her up and have a little experience right now, right? I'll pick the tub up. The tub up? No, come on. Today, it's a, you gotta have a daily daily experience with this snake. I think. Remember to be confident. And once you make contact, you don't you don't want to do a bunch of pulling away and grabbing the back is not necessarily the ideal thing. There you go. There you go. You pick up. Pick up. Do not. Now you got it underneath. Do not drop. Perfect. Fantastic. Doing excellent. Yes. Yes. More. More. Think left. Think right. Sorry, I'm I'm not good at that photography thing. Are you gonna do some chin pets? Get some chin pets in there. Give, inspire that confidence. There you go. Yeah. Now we're talking. That's the good stuff right there. Another positive interaction for the day? Yep. <clears throat> what do you want to tell the Soon people? Soon this week I'll be doing my video of Godzilla vs. Kong. We went and saw the Godzilla movie. Godzilla vs. Kong. Awesome, by the way. Freaking fantastic. Noah's gonna do the video on it. I'm sure he'll give a warning, a spoiler and alert. If you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend going to see it. I thought it was good. But in the in the um slug eating nastiness video, I gave out a warning. He's on top of it. Is that the end of the video? No, it's not. <laughs>
Titanoboa. What about Titanoboa? Um, they're very large and some could be dangerous and they have a very strong bite and they slowly and they smell with their tongue and nose and that's all I know. <laughs> Look who's in town. Oh, who? Guess where these guys are going. Death. To the valley of death. <laughs> With friends. Because it's his With birth friends, yes. Yeah. It's his birthday, so we have to show up whenever it's his birthday. Otherwise, he gets, gets very offended. You don't want to offend Muhammad. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one offends Muhammad and lives. <laughs> I don't think anybody has any idea what you're talking about. That's okay. Am I it's perfectly are obvious? We, are we We're here? We're dragging for Muhammad to the Valley of Death. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. All right. Well, they're going to Death Valley. Have you ever heard of Death Valley? It's a place other than <laughs> biblical. They're going with their friend Muhammad, whose birthday it is every day because he doesn't actually know what day he was born. So every day is Muhammad's birthday. It was his idea. Do in the first any place. of us really know what day we're born? We just <laughs> believe these people who tell us. Like, oh, okay, I'll have to take your word for it. I don't remember. I was born on a Tuesday. I was born on I, Friday. I was pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm so positive. They so they say. Positive. <laughs> yeah, that's what they tell me at least. I don't know if I believe them or not. 7.09 in the evening. Yep. Mm, yeah, it's a I'll long afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> also, the sun came out. Yep. Ah, uh, it's nice. Well, I hope you guys are having yourselves a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Uh, oh, did you notice in the last video I brought back Music Monday on a Saturday? <laughs> I, I was like, you know, I need this song here. We're just going to eat the copyright. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Here? Pita chips and horseradish hummus. Four of us. I thought, you were, I thought you were saying bye. Yeah, but I can always put this in after the fact. <laughs> it's not live video. We're, I could edit the crap out of this. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Just like I didn't put in your words of inspiration on the last video. What? <laughs> Am I telling people to go camping? Words? There wasn't any space for it. No, no space. <laughs> no space for you. <laughs> I'm in my safe space. This is your safe space? Super safe right here. Why is it safe? Because I'm here? Because your mom's here! That's why! That part's not going on the video either. <laughs> How's your chin doing? Chin warm? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's protected. It's protected. Bonus footage. Oh, we got a clutch of eggs. Oh, it looks like a bunch of nice pearly whites too. Watch your face, ET. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pearly, no, teeth! Gotta keep them down, okay? Okay, <laughs> don't roll the eggs, doofoo. You silly wah. <laughs> yep, there you go, girl. Fire, fire. I'll tell you guys who dad was once the clutch comes out. Woohoo!